All right. You guys can see a giant mess on my desk here. Um, just going to throw some more Halloween cards together here for you guys. And hi, D. So I'm just going to take some stuff out of my stash here. I got a little bit of everything. And we're just going to throw together some Halloween cards. Just real quick. There's no rhyme. There's no reason. Um, I've missed you guys. And I've had a very busy week last week. I pretty much worked every day last week except for Sunday. And then um, Saturday night, I went out with a friend from high school and had the most amazing evening. We went and did an escape room, and it was really cool. And I don't know if I'm coming down off of that high from the weekend, but today I just had like a miserable day and was feeling just kind of blah. And th this rain is not helping. So I thought, you know, the only way to make me feel better is to go do some crafting, make some cards, and get these cards in the mail for you guys that had requested them. Um, and if you haven't requested, I listen, who wants a card? I will, I will make you a card and send it to you. Um, so you just have to email me at Nancy stamps 15 at gmail.com. And I will put one of these cards in the mail for you. And that will make me feel better and hopefully put a smile on your face and again, there's no rhyme, no reason here. I'm mixing up everything I have in my stash. D girl, y'all send you one. Just send me your address. So yeah, Leah is doing really well in school. Xavier, who is now in seventh grade, he changed schools this year to a much better school district but I think it might be a little harder for him. And my kid is extremely gifted, but he is also extremely lazy. Um, so he has uh, fallen behind in a couple of his classes. So dad and I have had to ground him from the video game Fortnite. If you guys have ever heard of it, my kid is... Uh, addicted to this Xbox game Fortnite, and so the only thing we can do to get through to him is to threaten to take the Xbox away, which we did do, so he has to get his grades up in science, social studies, and math now, so that little game is over, and I will tell you guys everything I'm using here. I, um, these foil transfers that I'm using, thank you for asking, Linda, are from my friend Laura at Creative Vision Stamps. These are the um, Halloween foilables. So you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different sentiments. And I'm using all different colors of foil. I have um, Wildfire is the bright orange. The green is called Holly Jolly. This kind of rainbowy looking one is called Silver Bullet. And then the purple was Sugar Plum. And let's see here. I have the mink on the side warming up. That's what's making the clicking noise. I'm going to move some of this other stuff out of the way here. So always when you're doing foiling, you want to make sure. Oh, I want to cut that straight, so hold on. You don't have to wait till after Christmas. I give you permission to enable yourself. <laughs> Hello, Tracy. Welcome. So this year for Halloween, now I work every Halloween. It's I'm in the car business. So the end of the month is, of course, the last day of the month. And... I don't get to take my kids trick-or-treating in my neighborhood, which is the last day of the month. So what we do is we find a town that's doing the Saturday or Sunday. And then um, I take them then, like Saturday night or Sunday night. I take them then. Now, Leah is still 
little. So she's happy going wherever. She's like 10 minutes into it and then she's done. So it's really easy for her. And Xavier is now at that age. He is 12 years old where they are. Did you guys hear about this? Where there's an ordinance now at some, some towns where um, they don't want any children above the age of 12 trick or treating because they think that they're too old, and if they find that these children that are that old are trick-or-treating, they're going to find them. Um, I think that is absolutely ridiculous. My kid is a very sweet 12-year-old, and he is not into anything malicious yet. I'm sure when he gets older, I'll have to worry about it. But, to you know, he, he likes to dress up and go get candy, and I think that some of these towns are being a little too harsh on these kids. I get it. If there's mischief, they're worried about that. But uh, come on, let them be kids. At least they're not out doing something bad. I mean, if they want to go out for the night and get candy, let them go out and get candy. What's more innocent than going out on Halloween and getting a bag full of candy? So when I take my kids out, if somebody's going to question if my kids should have candy or not, you can bet I will have something to say about that. All right, so I'm going to let these cool, run these couple through here. Always dusting off my foil and my foilables for the best transfer. I might be a little too short, so. And these are Creative Vision stamps, foil, and foilables on this part here. Tracy, that's awesome. Tracy says her church does trick-or-treat and all are welcomed. So Leah this year has decided she wants to be a fairy. So I got her little fairy costume and wings and I'll have to attempt to do some face paint on her. Maybe I'll take a stamp and stamp her face and then just color it in. <laughs> so here's that little flying witch we made not too long ago. I'm going to... Um, put her down on a card. I do have some paper cut up here. I'll, I'll never forget. Um, oh, I told you guys the story about my dad and having a little uh, Halloween thing in his base and all the guys did this haunted house. And I went in the house and it was a one way door and I couldn't get out. And so I started screaming and banging on the door until they let me out. And they finally did let me out. It was crazy. I was just a little kid. All right. Let me score this. So when I first moved into this neighborhood, this is a pretty nice neighborhood and everybody's out doing, uh, you know, giving out the candy and stuff. Thank you, Tracy. I did a little um, video on this one, so you should be able to find it. Let me see here. Let me see here. I don't want to just put that down like that. Maybe I do just want to put it down like that. Let's see here. Let's cut these guys. Get all that perfect foiling. Ugh, makes it so easy. And I don't have to stamp out and cut out any sentiments. Look at that. So pretty. I'm just going to cut these down. D, I hope you're getting some sweet tea. That's my favorite. So you guys, I had the, the most fun on Saturday night. Um, like I said, I went out with a friend from high school who I have not seen in 23 years. 23 years since I graduated. And... Um, we were just talking on Facebook and catching up to old times and um, went, uh, I went to high school two hours away. 
So it's a little bit of a drive. And we met up Saturday night and um, went out to dinner and then went to this escape room. And it was so much fun. I've never done an escape room before. Um, but it was really neat. And uh, it was us. And then we were we were stuck in this room with this family, with this mom and dad and two kids. They were um, uh, like, yeah, I don't know, 10, 11 year old little kids. And we had like 45 minutes to figure out this escape room. And it was it the theme of it was you had to pretend like you were on some kind of a game show and try to do all these like um, brain teaser questions. So I know there's different themes for all of them, but it was pretty neat. And I didn't know if I was going to like it or not, but I had such a good time. And I came home and I told my son about it. So now he's like, hey, I want to go. So I'll be looking at that. So I was going to mat this, but now I think I should just leave it alone. And just maybe cut this down. Let's see here. I'm going to turn this mink off for a second so we don't have to hear the ticking, like a ticking time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. Speaking of ticking, it almost sounds like, you know, like a radiator. If you have old radiators, when they come on, they make that noise. That's what it sounds like. It reminded me of when I was a little kid. My sister and I, we were so bad. When those radiators would come on, you know, they would get hot and everybody would say, don't touch them. Well, <laughs> we used to take crayons up to them and watch the crayons melt on the radiators. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Bonnie, did you get your Halloween card? I mailed them out to a couple people last week. And for those of you, there was two of you that had emailed me about the um, the bow tires. Um, yes, I have them. I just have to make it to the post office to figure out how much they're going to cost to ship. And then I'll let you know because um, I don't know what they weigh or anything like that. And like I said, just a lot of stuff going on here lately. And I came home Sunday. And took my kids to the pumpkin patch Sunday. It was so crowded. And they have this beautiful sunflower field there. And I wanted to take pictures of my kids at the sunflower field. But it was $10 if you wanted to go through the sunflower field. Because so many professional photographers were going through there and taking pictures. They decided to get wise on it. And so I didn't get to take my kids through the sunflower field. But we had a good time. And then the Steelers played Sunday. And my son and I were sitting on the couch watching TV. And the next thing you know, I was out. And he tried to wake me up. And he said, Mom, you were snoring. <laughs> All right. So that one I just threw together real quick. Let's see here. I have some. Th and this is all um, stamping up paper. I just cut it out of the Halloween paper pack. So it is here. I'll just show it to you. This little case, Toil and Trouble cardstock pack, which has, where are the colors? Where are the colors? Oh, you know what? It's the colors that match the Halloween paper. I know you guys are going to want to know the colors. So the colors are, here we go. Basic black, um, gorgeous grape, granny apple green, and highland heather. And pumpkin pie. So one, two, three, four colors in there. It matches paper. And we'll probably do something with this too. But I just cut up some card sizes here so that we could not waste time doing that part. So I have this um, embossing folder. I think this is a paper studio, which is a Hobby Lobby one. And it is a, what do you call this, spider web? So I'm going to just run that through the Gemini. Speaking of Gemini, I know some of you got to see my unboxing video. And um, Crafter's Companion asked me to take it down. And it had like 1,300 views on it, you guys. So if you were lucky enough to see it, 
I cannot wait to show you guys the stuff that this new product can do. Um, and I compared it to the one that I already have and it blows my mind how much better it is. So it was awesome. Let's see here. What are you guys saying? I'm trying to read your comments there. All right. So I have my two base plates here. I think that's all I need. Let's run this through the machine. So for this one, I have some Nouveau paste here somewhere. Here we go. So, Bonnie, it's a completely different kind of foiling machine. The Mink machine foils these kind of, um, what would, how would I phrase that? The Mink machine foils... Um, Toner objects. So the, the mink machine is like a, um, a laminator, kind of. And what it does is heats up the toner, causes the toner to stick, um, and then the, or causes the, the toner to be a little sticky, and then the foil sticks to it. Here I'm just taking some silver nu nouveau mousse and uh, a little sponge dauber. And I'm just going to start in the middle and kind of rub it outwards. So um, this new machine actually turns your metal dies into foil stamps. So it uses a little bit different technique. It uses your dies that you already own. It does use a little bit different foil. The foils we already have are not going to work with it. There is, a, there is another machine out on the market, which I do own. Um, I think I've done one or two videos with it because I just didn't like it. Um, so... I will do a comparison on what it does differently from the mink. And I also do a comparison of how it compares to the other machine I own. Um, it will be launched on HSN November 6th. They asked me to take it down because they want to make sure that everybody kind of releases it around the same time. And um, so I had jump started releasing it and um, they had asked me just to take it down, um, but I've been playing around with this thing, and you guys, I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh Bonnie got a new computer. Who's Kane? Am I missing a channel I should be watching? Yeah, Tracy, go Steelers. I wish I could go to the the uh, Brutus Monroe. When is the party? Maybe I'll take a weekend off and just go hang out up there. Did you guys hear Christopher's dog died? Brutus Monroe. Like, as soon as I heard it, I was so sad. I was like, no! We're going to have to make Christopher a card and send him a card. All right. I just want a strip of this. We'll just make this. I'm just cutting this black strip here to, oh, let's see. There's a little hat set. I have a little idea in my head here. Okay. I'm cutting this strip to three inches wide. Okay, and what I'm going to use here, a couple of things. I have a, an older EK success punch. Oh, Saturday night. I am in 
Allentown, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Philadelphia. It's like 45 minutes from Philadelphia. All right, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this without messing it up. Well, I guess I'll just start there. We'll just go from there. I get those muscles involved for that punch. Tracy, where are you at? Can you guys hear that awful cricket? I'm so sick of bugs. All right, so we're doing that side. And I'm going to do this side the same way. If I can line it up. So there's a little guide on the side of the punch here. So when you punch it out, you just light it out. I went to school in Johnstown. I went to UPJ. Oh, such a beautiful area out there. All right. Okay. So pretty good here. One more little punch on this side. Come on. Every time I line the paper up, I go to punch it and I wiggle it. There we go. Good enough, right? How many of you went over and checked out the Mod Squad Challenge? You only have a day left. I have to pick the winner tomorrow. Isn't that cool? Oh, very cool, Tracy. All right, so I wanted to cut these little hats out and put them on there. But now I kind of like the way that looks and I don't want to cover it up. Is that too plain? That's too plain. Maybe we put one little witch on there. It won't be too plain. Okay, so I want to cut some of these hats out. And I'm just going to run them through the machine. I have a little die that matches them, so we're just going to die cut them out. Okay, so where's my dies at? All right, so here's the stamp set and the die set. This is all stamping up right here. Do you guys, when you make cards, plan them out? Because I don't. I pretty much wing everything. I might have a rough idea in my head, but I pretty much wing it. When I make those videos for you guys, I usually make one ahead of time. Like whatever I'm making, the card, and then I go back and do the video just so I can edit out um, like whatever takes a really long time, like die cutting and stuff like that. So that you guys don't have to watch an hour of me die cutting these things. You just watch me stick them down. Look at that. So cute. Look, I didn't have to stamp them. I didn't have to color them. I just bought the paper and the dies. And run it through.
Did I show you guys my little mummy? <laughs> so we'll put him on a card too. We'll see. I do have a couple of vacation days left. This Wednesday, I go and get those polyps cut out. And then I'm off. Um, my normal day off is Thursday. And then I took Friday off because I worked every day last week. So I will be off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. So I'm looking forward to some downtime. Bonnie wants to know, how do I get my Gemini to cut Cricut vinyl? You mean like with a die cut? Bonnie, anything you can run through your Gemini is, is with your die cutting machine, you should be able to cut it. But if you are trying to, um, if it's too, if it's not cutting all the way through, there is a metal plate, this metal plate here, you can put underneath. And then put your die on, and what it will do is give it extra pressure and press that die in a little harder so that it cuts through if you're having a problem with it cutting through because it's because that vinyl is a little too thick. Thank you guys for your well wishes. I don't think it's going to be anything major. I think I'll be okay, but I will definitely keep you guys updated. So this is what I was thinking, putting these little hats like this. Do this one here. And then putting like a little sentiment underneath there. That, let's do that. Just ran out of tape. And let's put this little trick or treat on here. I think I'll just cut this one straight. And again, I don't measure anything, I just eyeball it. Have you guys started your Christmas cards? I think I've done two Christmas cards. I never, ever, ever make Halloween cards. This is like, like if I do them, I make like two for my kids and that's it. So this is a first for me to be making all of these cards. And I'm glad that you guys want them. That makes me feel so special. Uh-oh, let the scissors go. What do I do with the scissors? I don't know. I put them down. Can't find them. Hi, Terry from Canada. It's getting cold down here. I turned the heat on. Terry, I am not doing anything but just hanging out. Just making some Halloween cards for you guys. For those of you just joining, if you want a Halloween card, just send me your address to nancystamps15 at gmail.com. These are the two we put together so far. 
We're just doing a couple here to have a little fun. Oh, there's my scissors. We grab another piece of cardstock here. I think for this one, I'm going to cut this down. I think we'll do the background stamp on this one. Let's see here. Let's make this one five and a quarter by four. Nancy, is there any reason why you could not put masking paper on paper and double stick to the back of the paper, then run it through the die cut machine at the same time? Um, no, D. In fact, I, I, I always, if I'm running, like if I'm cutting a die, like a die cut image, I will put double stick tape on the back of it. Um, you could do that. The only thing I would be concerned about is the if you're trying to remove the double stick tape, um, the pressure from the die cutting machine might actually make it really stick. And when you peel it off, it might it might rip your paper. That would be my only concern. Tracy likes my pink nail polish. It is it is like Barbie pink, and then this finger, it's hard to tell, but this finger is like a, a hot pink fuchsia with some holographic glitter in there. I was going to do dark purple, but they told me with the, the surgery not to do any dark colors, so I didn't do that. All right, so this is a impress, Impression Obsession spiderweb all over stamp. And I'm just going to put this down to stamp it. But I want to do um, silver ink. Where is my silver ink? Do, do, do. I moved my inks around. I did not order the new Distress Oxide inks yet, guys. I have to do that, and then I will have the full collection. Okay, here we go. Some Encore Silver Ink. Sukaneko makes this. Like if you were going to blend on top of the mask. Hmm. D, I will have to think about that for you. I mean, I would just say just try it, see what happens. Drop that down. Let me find some scratch paper here somewhere. There we go. So you guys, did you join Stamp Camp yet? It's a Facebook group. And I joined it. I really like the group. Um, and um, there was a... a what do you call it? Like a contest put out on who could invite the most people into the group. I did not win. I came in second place. However, the admin, admin, I guess you would call of the Facebook group sent me like a second place prize box, which I thought was so cool. And I got some cute little stamps and like a card and a little thing of artists trading cards. Um, Tommy, he's the admin. He sent them to me. But you know what was really cool in the box? There was a Aerosmith Greatest Hit CD in the box. And I got really excited over that CD. Because that's music that I grew up to. I love 80s and 90s music because that's when I grew up. And um, I immediately like ran out to the car and put the CD in my car. And my kids are like, what is this? And I'm like, this is good music. I won this CD. I was like really excited over it. So thank you, Tommy. And if you guys are not part of um, Stamp Camp, it's a, it's a Facebook group. Let me know if you can't get in. I will send you an invite and get you guys in there. But it's a really fun group. There's a lot of different um, people in that group. And it's for all things artsy stamping. It's not, um, it's not uh, what do you call it, sponsored by any particular store or stamp company like some of the other pages are. So lots of fun. Hello, Zoya. All right, so I have some more card bases here. These are just cut out. That. Okay, so we can just glue these guys down. 
Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so this one is, is dry now. None of that Nouveau mousse is rubbing off. We're just gonna glue this down. And this was the one using the embossing folder. That's dry too. And this is the one we stamped. Look how pretty that came out. Isn't that neat? if you want to email me some pictures of what you're doing I or what you're trying to do there, I will work on that and see if I can help you out with that. I think I'm going to put my little mummy guy here. And there was one. Here we go. This one here, it says Monster Wishes. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Let's glue him down. I think uh, glue dots will work the best on him. The embossing folder is from Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby. And I'm using glue dots because he is kind of thick. I mean, I cut, I basically cut out like a head and some shoulders out of some cardstock. And then I just took this, uh, this is Tim Holtz mummy cloth. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's like cheesecloth. And wrapped it around. And then I put some distress ink on it to make it look dirty and old and stuff and then i have these little i think these are doodle bug design eyeballs so before i stick him down let's see here let's cut the end off of this There we go. How's that one look? You see these are? Yeah, gauze. There we go. I have it here. It's called Tim Holt Mummy Cloth. Eight yards in here. That's a lot. Five bucks. Okay. So we got that one done. These are... Coming along here. I'm glad that you guys are so talkative today. I really appreciate it. You guys are making me feel better already. Um, let's see here. I have these Tim Holtz little uh, people. Let's just glue some of these down on a card. What do they call them? Paper dolls. They're a creepy looking creep paper dolls. Good night, D. He's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> I wonder if I should put like a like a piece of wood back there to make it look like it's like a bench or something. Let's see here. Hmm. 
No, that doesn't look right. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to come back to them and use them in a different context. Let's see here. See, I just don't see this background as a spooky background. We'll have to come back to that. Let's just cut out one of these little girl, one of these little witchy girls here. We will do some more die cutting here. We can cut one of her out with her little cauldron and her cat and put that on there. And I think that will be cute. Did you guys see some of the um, the other items that were in the box from Crafters Companion? They sent me some new um, stamps and dies for their, I think it's called the Winter Wonderland, Winter Wonderland Collection. Okay, so this little girl here with her hand out, here we go. She's over here. She fits the die perfectly. We're going to cut her out over here. that die and then we're going to cut out the little cat and the cauldron there we go i think that'll look a little better Yes, I love Crafter's Companion foil paper. It's very heavy-duty foil paper. It's not flimsy foil paper. frog oh there's a frog die we're gonna get them all here well we can't do both of them or all of them but we can do two of them here Goodbye, Sherry. Thank you for watching. So when I can't sleep at night, which is pretty often, I lay in bed and I watch YouTube videos and I watch you guys make stuff. Uh-oh, why is that beeping at me? Oh, we got to hurry up here. Our battery's going low. Well, if I disappear, guys... It's because my surface decided to quit on me. So let me try to speed this along here. And again, for those of you that did not request a card yet, you can send me an email, Nancy Stamps. 15 at gmail.com and I will send you one of these cards or I will make some more this weekend and send you one of those. So I'm going to put this little card together here quick and then I think we're going to have to call it a night because the laptop is beeping at me and I do not want to be rude and lose you guys. So Hopefully, I'm giving you guys some ideas so you can make some quick cards. Put her on here. Okay. 
Oh, that's perfect. And then we'll just put one of these on here. Here, how about this one? A little boo for you. That's cute. And my glue is not working. There we go. All right. So we made a couple of cards here pretty quickly using a couple things. Again, the foilables and the foil came from Creative Vision Stamps. Um, you guys can look that up at creativevisionstamps.com. Um, the little witchy set, this cauldron bubble stamp set, and the dies and the paper and the cardstock came from Stampin' Up. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! rep, I will link my store for you. If you guys want to get any of these items from me, I would be greatly appreciated of that. Um, and then the miscellaneous other items, you can probably find just them. Um, again, the punch was an EK success punch. I don't know if it's still current or not. Um, it's a spider web punch. Oops. The ink that I, the silver ink I used was the Sukuneko Encore silver ink. The embossing folder was Paper Studios, which is from Hobby Lobby. The spider background um, was Impression Obsession Spiderweb background. Um, this little witch came from uh, Just for Fun Stamps, JFF. The moon was an Altenew, um stamp. And I did a little video on this. You'll just have to go back and take a look at it. Here's the punch. EK Success Spiderweb Punch. Again, I don't know if this is still out there or not. This came out of my stash. But I think that's everything I used. If you guys have any questions about anything, post them below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. D, send me an email with what you're trying to do there, and I will try to help you out with that. And if you guys like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And... I will see you guys this weekend after my surgery and we will get back into business and making cards and stamping here. And if you want one of these little Halloween cards, again, just email me. I'll be happy to send it out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I missed you guys. You guys made me feel good today. I'm glad I got to sit down and talk to you guys and do some crafting and I will see you soon. Bye guys.